Hello world, it's the Hacker Triple Seven, and today I'm bringing you guys a cool review on Mozilla Firefox 8. The official release was just finished today, or just came out today. Sorry. So I'm gonna guide you through how to install it, and basically a couple new features that are in it. So here I have actually the old, an older Mozilla Firefox on the website. I'll have a link to this uh, description or the link in the description to this website. We're going to download it. We're going to save it to our downloads. Now a couple uh, new features have been in integrated Twitter. Um, Mozilla, the Mozilla company actually partnered with Twitter about earlier this year with um, basically integrating the Twitter application. So now you can actually search your Twitter comments and Twitter stuff like that while you're in the process of searching Google and stuff like that. I'll, I will show that. And a lot, a lot of features have actually have been updated for um, security. Um, personally, I think that's one of the greatest things about Mozilla Firefox 8 is um, they updated the security, so now you'll have less problems with um, third-party websites that installing themes, or not sorry, not themes, toolbars and crap like that onto your Mozilla Firefox and causing crashes and stuff like that. So the person that's one of the my favorite updates. So here we got the setup. Just uh you know it's on the standard, obviously. I do not want this. And mine could upgrade because I already have it. So I should go through. Yours might take a little longer because I'm just upgrading mine. Okay, so now we got Firefox. So we're gonna launch it. And now it's going to check for compatible add-ons. And now I can select them. So I'm going to go add block. Yeah. That looks pretty good. Oh, my monitor. Okay, so as you see, it also kept my uh, bookmarks, which is nice. Okay, so... We're gonna click yes, just cause you know. So let's say there's a couple new features. Um, well, not features, I guess. This is just the awesome bar, apparently. The awesome bar will include possible matches between browsing history, bookmark sites, and open tabs. Pretty cool. So I guess we'll go right through everything. So starting in the top corner, we got the menu looks pretty just like last year uh, last versions the add-ons looks about about the same if I enable this you know, I'll enable a, the NASA night launch theme one of my personal favorites oh other monitor again oh, there you go slick so that looks about the same there. We'll go through the options quickly. So we got, you know, it looks like pretty standard. Um, also, a new feature about this is it helps uh, block th more third party content. Not just add ons, like I said earlier, but um, other stuff like websites and stuff like that. So here we got Firefox Sync. Um, that's for using if you have, say, have a Blackberry or I'm not sure if it has Mozilla, but obviously for an iPhone, I believe. Um, you can sync your bookmarks and history and stuff like that across other devices. So, you know, iPod, I believe, and other whatever other stuff you might have. 
Okay, so, um, now I think we'll go through, we'll check out the awesome bar. So, here I have YouTube actually already there, so I'll type in www. YouTube, oh, looks like, YouTube, oh, so I see, as you see here, we got a couple of my bookmarks. So, here's one of my bookmarks, is my actual channel. So, looks like Flash is already come pre installed, too. Yes, it does. Sweet, sweet. Um, that's the last few things, looks like. So, we had to prior browsing, obviously, you know, edit, click, cut, and paste. I don't see the purpose of that, but. Hit the bookmarks. And here we have the actual Twitter, like I said before. So if I start using Twitter, I can type in, uh, you know, YouTube. And I enter. Let's see what happens. Looks like it's taking a bit to load. Okay, so looks like it searches it searches Twitter. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But that's what it for this uh for this video. Hope you guys liked the review. Um, again, I hope you guys play around with it. I'll have a link in the description to download or update your Mozilla Firefox. And that's what it for this video. And have a nice day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.